A construction is underway here in East Lyme and town officials, state lawmakers and the Department of Transportation tell me this project is a long time coming. This is a little pain for a lot of gain. Tuesday, rock blasting began along the northbound side of I-95 in East Lyme to remove about 800 feet of rock ledge. When they built this highway, you know, 70 years ago, didn't think about what would happen, you know, decades later, uh, but here we are now. Ledge blasting will take place twice a day, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. for the next six to eight weeks. We're going to be able to send out a 30-minute heads-up notice via text message to let them know that this is what's happening. This is the first stage of a $148 million four-year construction project aiming to improve safety and traffic flow in this section of I-95. The on-ramps are very short. The merges are tight. This section of 95, I think, saw over 200 accidents over a five or six year period. They're going to widen lanes, better ways to get on and off the highway from the town standpoint, really benefit the town and the people traveling on 95 when it's finally done. DOT plans to build another travel lane between exits 74 and 75 at a full width shoulder, lower 95 by about eight feet, fix a bridge on Route 161 and reconfigure the exit 74 on off ramp. It's a multifaceted, multi-year project that ultimately is going to improve safety, help with traffic flow, uh, just really be a really big improvement for the East Lyme community. Something town officials say is much needed. 60s technology is finally going to be updated to 2020 plus. To have money actually invested in Eastern Connecticut is huge. Both Cheeseman and Siri say despite any inconvenience, residents are telling them they're excited. I think we'll all agree once it's done, it will have been worth waiting for. Reporting in East Lyme, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.